So I'm a big fan of WordPress Playground. If you haven't used it, it's sort of like a one-click version of WordPress that loads in your browser. It's kind of good for throwaway WordPresses. You know, I just want to spin up WordPress, try something, throw it away, not worry about it, not make a big local environment, all that sort of stuff. So it's really great for that. And I think a lot of the promise of it is still being explored by the community and people are still figuring out what it's going to be most useful for and, and what, you know, the killer features of it are. One thing I like about it is whenever there's a new WordPress release coming, they always post uh, the various betas and release candidates, and then they always have in here a WordPress Playground link where you can just click, one click, open that version. And so Playground has this nice way of like switching between WordPress versions, and it just lets you, you know, find out, hey, was this feature in this version, or is it in this feature, is it in this new version, um, try out a new thing in the block editor, all that sort of stuff. So it's really just like a handy way to quickly beta test things. It's not a robust testing environment. It's just like a really good, uh, let me just get my hands dirty with like no effort at all. Just open up WordPress. So I've been spending a lot of time working inside of WooCommerce and doing a lot of different things with WooCommerce, including testing out like the new release that's going to be coming up soon. So I thought, man, it would be really great if I could just have like a quick instance of, let me just load up a WordPress store. And Playground is really good at this concept of blueprints where you basically write up a JSON file that says like, I want this, 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 and this, install this plugin, install this theme, import this content. Um, and so you can always load WordPress Playground with these blueprints ready to go. So I thought, okay, I'll just make a blueprint. And a blueprint is basically like a JSON file that just will have all the steps. So I'm gonna show an example real quick. This is kind of what it looks like. You know, I tell it when you load uh, Playground, I want to land on this particular page. I want to install this particular plugin or set of plugins. Um, maybe I want to run some PHP code. So in here, there's a little use pretty permalinks PHP uh, code that runs because for whatever reason, um, <clears throat> Playground always doesn't have pretty permalinks. Um, and then in this instance, I actually set some basic site options for WooCommerce. Like I, you know, these are these are basically like uh, you know, WordPress options that are going to get saved. Um, and one of them is that I want to skip the onboarding. Like normally when you start a new WooCommerce site, you get this kind of onboarding workflow, but I don't want that right now. I just want to load up like a demo site and I want it to have some sample content that I pull just from the WooCommerce repo and it just import all that. So when I load it, because ultimately all I want to be able to do is just have it all in the URL right here. So I use a Cloudflare worker, which I'd never done before. And technically I still haven't done because really I just asked Cursor to write it for me. Cursor wrote a Cloudflare worker for me. So this is the code. Um, if you've never used Cloudflare workers before, I'm not going to explain it. But the like sort of simplest thing is like it's a little piece of JavaScript that you can just host. Cloudflare will host for you. And it'll just run it every time you hit that URL. So it's like, here's a little piece of JavaScript, sit right there. So when we're looking at this JSON, this is actually coming off of my Cloudflare worker. And what it means is I can pass different URL parameters and then it's going to return different JSON. So if I said, actually, I want the 9.7 release and I do that, it's actually going to update this um, URL right here, which is the URL that gets you know that that uh, plugin code. So it's actually very cool because I can have one spot to return my blueprint, but I can actually use query parameters to make really simple changes to it. So for example, I was thinking of I could add another one that says like demo content equals false, and then it'll return it without this step or something like that. Like I can get really dynamic and instead of having to make separate JSON files for each thing, I can create a system for myself to have uh, simple URLs and I can come back here and change them later. I don't have to go and like build these kind of crazy URLs. So what does it look like? This is all, a, this is all the worker is. It's literally a simple JavaScript file. It has this template for uh, the JSON that I want it to return. It checks um, when you get a, when it gets a request, it looks for a URL parameter and then it just kind of like changes this. It swaps out text, blah, 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 and it returns a JSON re response. So super simple JavaScript. Now I can hit this URL right here. I can pass it different parameters. I can get it to return this JSON and then I don't have to like deal with the files itself. I can just have a few different reliable variations of this URL to come back. And then when I want to load my playground, I just pass it as the URL right here. So it seems like a lot of setup, but it's actually kind of nice because I didn't write anything. Um, 
all I have to do is use that URL whenever I want to, to load up this version of Playground. So I think this is going to be something we're going to see a lot of really cool stuff with, which is Playground Blueprints, where people are going to build out versions of WordPress Playground that are preloaded with plugins, themes, content, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I think people are going to find more creative ways to load those blueprints. There's a lot of really cool tools out there to build them. And I think Cloudflare Workers is one where we can actually find ways to not have to make a bunch of JSON files and host them everywhere when you can make one dynamic JSON file that you just change by tweaking the URL the same way that uh, WordPress core gets to by um, with their player instance where they get to pass cool URL parameters and load different versions of things. So that's what I was trying with. Let me know if you have any questions or if you think there's like a really cool use cases for this or a better way to do this. I think there's a lot of potential, like I said, with blueprints in uh, WordPress playground. I think we're going to see a lot more cool stuff coming from it in the future.